Today we're at uh, Bid Food in Truganina, which is in the western side of Melbourne. They're a cold storage facility, they food distribution. Uh, they're a national based business that have got facilities like this all over the country. It's a 270 kilowatt site, there's 684 LG 400 watt panels and we paired that with nine Fronius inverters, uh, three phase. Everything's tied in, it all hooks in for the uh, monitoring portal which is online, which gives us a full suite of uh, what the site consumption is live and also what the site production is with the solar system. So you get a nice energy balance across the year. For Big Foods particularly with their solar system, what we're trying to achieve was they're upgrading a lot of their plant for, for more energy efficient uh, refrigeration, which is obviously the main part of their energy costs. So when they're doing that, they're also pairing it in with solar systems. We're doing multiple sites with bid food at the moment, and it really is about bringing their energy costs down, which is one of their major costs of their business. Part of the design here at Bid Foods in Truganina was that we needed to fit in with what the structural engineer limitations were given to us. We achieved that by using LG solar panels, which means we used a lot less of them. So you get a lot more wattage per square metre, let's say, with less amount of panels. Therefore, there's less weight on the roof. If there's less weight on the roof, what we're finding at the moment is when we look at new sites, new warehouses being built, they're having to spend an exorbitant amount of money strengthening the steelwork in the roof to cater for the weight of the solar panels. So if you, if you factor that into your cost, your overall cost of your systems, then Really you're looking at a far less cost because you've got less panels on the roof, less weight on the roof, therefore less steel is going to save you a lot of money on the, on the overall cost of the system. All that comes full circle and comes back around to the return on investment of the whole project. In the first year we, we, we've estimated that the bills are going to reduce in excess of $100,000 and by the time we get to the 25 year mark with the LG panels with their low degradation we're going to have about 2.2 million based on an on average increase of the electricity price of 3% a year. We feel that's a fairly conservative measure, 3%, where you can see price fluctuations in the energy cost from, you know, can be up to 20% a year. Most customers are looking for a, a cost saving on their energy bills. Really, cost saving and the stability of that cost as well over the years.